Hola, mi amigos y mi amigas. I am currently on Mallorca in Spain, a beautiful island. Unfortunately, I became sick the third day, I think, uh, after arriving here. So this is why there's a little delay for the monthly recap of the live trading or the, the live trading account uh, from the from the live stream on YouTube. But um, here I am doing the review of the last month today. So what am I talking about? It is of course the same account as every uh, month and uh, you can see it here in the background running already. It is currently at an equity of 30,300 euro. Let me show you again uh, directly in the beginning the history here. So you can see I deposited 15,000 euro. So, uh, oh wait, here I deposited 15,000 euro. So the profit is also around 15,000. Um, until now, there were no withdrawals. So it's a 100% profit on the invested capital, pretty much. This is a lot, um, which means, of course, that I'm trading high risk, but I talked about this in different uh, or in one specific other video already before, why I trade uh, such a high risk. And I always get these questions um, and people recommend that I reduce risk, etc., etc. And this is a um, topic which is, of course, important, but everyone has to decide for his or herself um, how much risk he wants to take. For me, there are some reasons why this risk is okay. First of all, I trade this account like a 50,000 euro account. Um, secondly, some of these strategies are, in my opinion, conservative. But again, this is completely um, subjective and everyone has a different opinion. And um, thirdly, of course, um, I trade within my own financial uh, capabilities. So if I would um, be, for example, I don't know how to say this, but if I would be broke, if I would not have a lot of money, I would of course not trade a lot of money. So this is for me totally um, okay for my own financial situation. And yeah, with this said, let's have a look at the actual results here. So you can see um, in this account I trade these 12 different charts um, with a total of um, actually three different strategies go along strategy in the first three charts on the left side then um, the range breakout ea in the following three charts in the second column here third column is the turnaround tuesday strategy which i only trade in indices and then on the right side the last three charts in the last column they are again the range breakout expert advisor or the range breakout strategy so three strategies and um, yeah, let's have a look at what the last month did. And a lot of my strategies um, correlate strongly with indices, with the stock market in general. And this is why it's always super important to have a look at the overall movement of the stock market. So if we just have a look at the last month, we can see the market was coming down a bit, <laughs> then went up quite a bit and now came down a bit again, at least in the German index, uh, which is the one that I'm looking at right now. So it is more or less um, a zero sum game here in this market. And this is also why I would expect that the last month did not make a lot of profit in DE40. This is something I can also check in the other um, indices that I trade. For example, this was the US 30, which was um, or which made a slight profit here, a small profit of 1% in the last month. Um, so there could be some, some profits. We will see this if um, I have a look at the trade body together with you in a second. And then there's also the next market, which is um, this uh, US tech or um, yeah, Nasdaq, whatever you, you want to call it. And this one also made a small profit in the last month or up to this current point. So these markets um, were more or less break even, maybe slightly profitable. So it will be interesting to see how my go long strategy, also the turnaround Tuesday uh, strategy performed, because these are the ones that I trade in the indices and also range breakout um, expert advisor in US 30 and DE40. Now let's have a look at um, the 
um, the currencies. I do trade um, the currencies with the range breakout expert advisor. So um, here it is not so important if the overall market is going up or down because I trade both directions while I only or mostly trade long in the indices. So here it is more important that we do not have sideways markets because sideways, market, sideways markets are not as good uh, for the range breakout strategy as trendy markets and this is going a bit sideways in the last month i would say but still there were some really good intraday moves in uh, usd japanese yen uh, if i remember correctly um, for example this one of course was a was a huge profit just two days ago uh, which is actually not really the last month but i would just do the uh, review here for for the whole account um, also the first few days of this current month which is um, October so this was a, a really a really good win I think it was like close to 500 euro in USD Japanese yen um, wait or am I talking oh no it was even more it was like 700 euro which is a really really good win so this will definitely be uh, have a huge impact on the overall performance of the range breakout EA in USD Japanese yen um, so yeah let's have a look at the other markets uh, or the other currencies uh, also, I trade the um, range breakout EA in US, uh, Euro US dollar. Um, here, I do not trade as much because I have a really uh, selective range size filter. So we can see a lot less trades here, only two trades in the last month. One was a good win, one was a loss. So overall in profit, but of course not a lot going on. So let's switch to GPS dollar quickly. And here we can see this market was... I would say trending a bit more than USD Japanese Yen, but um, I don't know if there were many profits. If I remember correctly, uh, there were also a lot of losses in GPS dollar. Um, but yeah, we will have to look at this in the um, in the analysis in a second. But first of uh, or last but not least, let's have a look at gold. And gold in the last month was again going uh, oh going up a lot and gold is just on a rampage for the last few months uh, which is crazy it's uh, constantly going up and um, I mean are we at the highest prices again um, I think it might be the case yeah definitely so <laughs> yeah gold is just uh, insane um, and I, I think there were also some some profits again in the last month in gold but yeah to give you some more validated information Let's now switch to my um, to my local PC quickly um, because here I already prepared the Trade Buddy Trading Journal, which is my trading journal that you can also download for free. <laughs> Check out the link on my website, and here we can see the graph of the whole um, performance of this account. So you can see all of the trades are here in this Trade Bro, uh, a Trade Buddy. Sorry, I started trading at the end of. March 2024 so it's almost I think it's seven months now if I'm if I'm not wrong or six or seven months now and yeah you can see all of the trades are here I put all of the trades in the trade buddy I updated all of the strategies so we can see this is the total performance here displayed as a graph and if I now go ahead and find the um, or if I filter maybe for the last month we will see that it is actually really similar again to the performance of the indices because it's yeah it's more or less break even i mean there is a small profit which we also saw in some of the indices but it's more or less break even which is yeah kind of fine i would say um could be better but it's not um it's not it's not super bad so yeah let's let's let me remove this filter again i think i will not um, filter just for the last month but instead I will just do the um, the filter uh, process for the whole time period here but first of all let's have a look at the key figures this is again what I showed before total profit is around 15k profit factor is 1.19 which is in my opinion still very very good and there's a total of 746 trades then we do see the hit rate um, which is around 50% actually a little bit higher and then, um, yeah, we also see, of course, that I do have more buy trades than short trades. Uh, a lot more buy trades, actually, because I only go long in the indices and um, 
yeah, this is the, this is the reason. So let's let's filter now, and this may be the most uh, interesting part. At least it is for me where I can really see what strategy made the performance. So what I do here is I just filter all of the trades. So I will just go for US 30 trades now that use the go long strategy. So here you can see now it took away all of the other trades. So every uh, single trade here is now in the US 30 with the go long strategy. And we can see this strategy um, is now overall in profit. And I think actually, um, the last month, uh, where can I find the first few trades of the last month? Yeah, this is where the last month started. So actually there was a small profit, which is great because the overall uh, index, and I showed this before, was also going up a bit. And we see a reflection of this in the results of the go long strategy in US 30, which is great. Everything's aligned with, uh, in, uh, in line with the strategy. So um, yeah, it's, it's uh, exactly what I, hoped for. And then we have the same strategy in the US tech index. Here this is one of the best strategies so far generating most of the profits. And yeah, this is uh, there's a total profit of 5.5k so far because the tech um, stocks went up quite a bit. And if I now um, search for the data point here, which uh, indicates the first day of the last month, I think I will find it here or here. Uh, Oh, here <laughs> or here actually it's this one so yeah we can see this um, yeah it's interesting it's a sm super small loss I think in the last month oh wait no this we, I should start here yeah, it's more or less break even and the index went up a little bit there's always a small deviation because I do have this hour from midnight to 1 a.m. where I do not trade so and also a couple of minutes uh, additionally. So this is where some small gaps can happen. But I, I think this is totally fine. And in the long run, it should kind of even out. So let's go to the DE40 now. And this one is uh, unfortunately still negative. But here I also made a, um, a, um, a adjustment in the signal where I, I don't know what exact date I changed the settings, but when I started trading the Golong strategy in D40, I just um, entered the position after 1 p.m. if there was a new daily high. And then in the last month or the previous months, I don't really know the exact date, I changed it. So I always entered the position at 9 um, at 9.05 a.m. now every single date. So this should give me a more similar result to the overall um performance of the index. Uh, so this is at least what I'm hoping for. And I'm very curious how this develops in the last or in the next few months. But maybe let's have a look here also at the just the trades of the um, or the performance of the last month. So we can see that in the last month, yeah, it was more or less break even, which is totally fine. Actually, it's, it's quite good. So yeah, everything is going good in the indices and the go long strategy. But this is maybe the most um, <laughs> uh, the strategy with the um, least surprises because it kind of just mirrors the performance of the uh, the indices. So let's now go to the turnaround Tuesday strategy. And in US 30, this strategy unfortunately is negative, down uh, 317 euro I think in the last month. Yeah, there was only one trade, which was a um, a profit. But yeah, still overall, the strategy is still negative. And let's quickly move to US Tech. In US Tech, the turnaround Tuesday strategy is also negative. And in the last month, I had one, two, three trades actually, of which um, was well, two negative and one positive. So last month around 350 euro lost in the strategy which made it negative overall now but um, yeah i mean it's a kind of okay ish i would say and it's it's like 188 on this account is not a lot it's it's more or less break even so let's move to de 40 where i also trade the turnaround tuesday strategy and in this market it is positive but also of course not by a huge amount but 1.4k in profit here and last month we did not have a single trade 
in um, DE40 with the turnaround Tuesday strategy. So let's move to the last strategy, which is the range breakout strategy. And I will go again one by one for the markets where I traded. And then afterwards, I will give you the, the overview uh, for every strategy where I combine all of the symbols. So let's start with the range breakout EA and US 30. So here we can see this one is negative overall. And in the last few months, there were a couple of trades, actually quite a lot of trades. Um, or, and most of them were not super profitable, but also the losses are not um, so big, I would say. Yeah, in the last month, there was a overall loss of like, I don't know, 100 maybe. If I did not fail the math. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close to 100, which is not good, not bad. So it's down 165, which is... Not right. It's also break even. I mean, I don't really have to tell you tell you a lot about this. Then DE40, where I also trade the uh, range record strategy, and this was really not good in the last uh, month, if I remember correctly. So let's have a look at the trades. There were a lot of trades. So you can see all of these trades here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trades in the last month, in the first few days of this month, and actually. There were some big losses like this one and this one, 40 euro and 190 euro lost and not really any profits. Like the, the profits were all taken away by the break even stop and then it's just um, two losses left which generated a, a loss of like 200 and something in the last month which is not good and this is why the last uh, few trades were also like yeah, going down a lot and the overall performance, it was in profit in the beginning, now it's negative, but um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's 500 euro negative, it's, it's not the point where I would start to panic, so I will just observe this carefully and slowly and if something goes really, really bad or if the backtesting results get really different from the live trading results, then I would start to act, but so far I don't really see a reason. So let's move to USD, USD Japanese Yen and here we saw a lot of trades and actually I was expecting way better results here because we had this crazy profit of 700 euro which I thought would have a much bigger impact but unfortunately in the last month there were also a lot of losing trades. Yeah, if I have a look at this there were also big losing trades like 250, 250, 300, 250 again lost. So overall the last month was was it negative? It was negative. Crazy. Okay, this is something I did not expect. Yeah, but the last month was negative in USD Japanese Yen. Also quite a lot. Yeah, it was really, really negative. Oh, wait, where, where did the month start? Yeah, okay. I mean, it started here. Yeah, it was negative by, by quite a bit. It lost like... 400 euro in the last month yeah but i mean the overall strategies i think still in line with the back test so it's it's kind of okay let's move to euro dollar here we had two trades one of them a, a profit the second one negative but the profit was bigger so overall there is a profit currently in euro dollar but there are not many trades because of this a really selective range filter. So euro dollar in profit, but not a lot of trades. Then GPS dollar, and here we saw quite a lot of trades in the last month also, and this one is surprisingly <laughs> perform, or has performed, well, it did perform better than the USD Japanese Yen. Yes, it did. It, it, it generated a profit in the last month um, of about, wait, this was... Uh, um, 49,900. So yeah, there was a profit of like 250, I think, in the last month, which made this strategy now profitable, which is great. And yeah, you can see the performance here and the key figures here if you're interested. Now let's quickly move to the last um, symbol where I trade the range breakout EA, and this is gold. And what can I say? Gold is just crazy and it is one of the main reasons why this account is performing so good. I started trading gold in a very lucky time period at a very lucky point. This is not the usual performance if I for example consider the the back test of the last 10 years. I mean there are periods like this where everything is just 
nice and everything seems to be like the holy grail. But this is not normal. There will be drawdown periods, also longer drawdown periods. I think in the past there were drawdown periods that were multiple months or even years. But still, for the time that I trade this strategy in the symbol, it's just very, very good. And who I, uh, who am I to not be happy about this result? Because this is a profit of 8,700 euro, real money profit. So I will take it every single day. So yeah, profit factor 1.9, yeah, just insane. And you can see the graph here. Let's have a look at the data point of the beginning of the month. Yeah, you can see it here in the last month. The strategy again made a nice profit of around, uh, come on, give me the last data point of the la uh, last month. Um, so this was at 7,600 and now it is at 800, 700. Um, yeah, I think it's like 900 euro profit or so in the last month. Yeah, it's just insane. So hope this gave you a little overview of um, over the symbol strategy combination. Now, as promised before, I will go through the strategies and I will always include all of the symbols. So go long strategy is traded in DE40, US30 and US Tech. And so far the profit is very good, but it is mainly because of the US Tech, of course. But the profit with this strategy is 5,600 euro. Then let's move to the range breakout strategy, which I trade in DE40, US30, Gold, Euro Dollar, GUPUS Dollar, and uh, USD Japanese Yen. Uh, yeah, I hope I got everything correctly. Should be six markets. I don't know why my fingers show seven, but yeah, also actually quite a good profit, but. As I showed before, all of these profits are coming from gold pretty much because gold alone had a profit of close to 9k and this is a profit of uh, 8.3k. Uh, so overall range breakout strategy is performing really, really good, but always uh, keep in the back of your mind the profits are coming from gold. Then turn around Tuesday strategy, uh, which I trade in DE40, US30 and US Tech, shows a small profit, but also here the profits are coming main mainly from DE40 because US 30 and US tech are negative right now. But yeah, this is the overview of the performance. Um, and if I reset this and we have a look at the overall performance of the account, this is just way better than I could have ever imagined. It's going so, so good. And I mean, yeah, I mean, the numbers kind of kind of speak for themselves. And I just want to give you this little insight. I am super happy with this performance so far and I hope that you still like this project and yeah, thanks for all, all of the support. I always see that many people follow the stream, which which really makes me happy because it shows that um, yeah, this honest display of automated trading or trading in general um, is uh, appreciated by, by a lot of you guys. And yeah, thanks for, for following this, this journey and for supporting the channel. This is it. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, if you like this, this stuff <laughs> in general on the channel, uh, consider liking the video and yeah, maybe just leave a friendly comment. That's it. I'm out. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye.